What's up, everybody? This is Key Flow Music, representing Sounds in HD, and today I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how to set up your external hardware units in Cubase to make use as an insert on your audio tracks. What this is going to help you do is make use of those guitar pedals, compressors, distortions, um, reverb units, delay units, you name it. You're going to be allowed to insert it as an insert on your audio channel so that you can process and bounce with the actual external units on the audio. So um, before we get started, I want you guys to subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, turn on those post notifications so I can keep bringing you guys tutorials in the future. Now, this is going to be a relatively simple setup. It doesn't take much. You just have to know a few things, or you should know a few things, right? You want to make sure every unit within your hardware chain is turned on because if it's not, you're going to set up the insert and you're not going to hear any audio. Um, you also want to make sure you know exactly where your hardware units are plugged into. So if you have a, um, an interface with multiple outputs, multiple inputs, it's key that you know what's plugged into what all right so um let's get started so what we're going to do is we're going to go to studio and then we're going to go to audio connections or f4 right um you're gonna you're gonna see this pop-up come up um it's just basically inputs outputs group effects external effects external instruments control room um and the likes thereof but you want to come to external effects right and then you want to click add external effects now you're going to get this pop-up that comes up first i'm going to name it since i'm setting up the zulu i'm going to name it zulu tape and i'll explain to you guys what the zulu is um in a second uh you want to make sure that your configuration is correct now depending on your hardware unit you may either have a stereo configuration or a mono configuration in this case i have a zulu um, it can operate as dual mono or stereo configuration. I'm just going to set it up as a stereo configuration. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to see it populate here in the bus name under external effects. And I'm going to click this arrow to the left of it. And I'm going to drop it down. I'm also going to click it here on send bus and return bus. <clears throat> now... After you set up the naming and the configuration uh, for your external effects, you want to set up the, the audio routing. As you guys know, I have a Fireface 800. So I'm going to click Fireface 800 on both the send bus and the return bus. Now comes the important step. Um, remember I told you guys you want to know where your units are hooked up to. Your send bus is where the audio is being sent out of, right? Your return bus is where the audio is coming back into the DAW. So I have my Zulu chain hooked up to ADAT7 and ADAT8. That's where the audio is being sent out of for this chain. That's how I have it hooked up. Like I said, you you want to keep track because this is a very this is a very important step. Right? And then once the audio leaves the Zulu, I have it coming back into ADAT7 and ADAT8. Now, these two aren't the same. I have a unit that has eight ADAT ins and eight ADAT outs, right? So these two are not the same. I just use the same numbers so um, it's easier for me to connect and set up in, in Cubase. Okay, I have an out seven and eight. It's coming back in seven and eight. It doesn't get any more simple than that, right? Um, so after that, you're done, right? So now you want to insert it here as an insert on your channel. So I'm going to play it without the Zulu on it first. So it sounds like a regular serum loop, um, very digital. So to add it, you want to come to you want to come to your inserts panel on the audio track, and you want to click wherever you want to insert the Zulu. Typically, I insert the Zulu at the end of my um, of my effects chains, but uh, for for this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to put it here on uh, slot one. 
So you want to come here and then you want to go to Steinberg right here, external plugins and Zulu tape. Now, before I start any processing through, always want to um, make sure my delay compensation is on point. So I hit this button right here. What this does is it sends a, a ping in audio format through the hardware so it can help calculate your delay, your delay compensation. So it helps with um, latency. So I'm gonna hit that. I see my meters move. The ping went through and I'm gonna play it. And you can treat this as a, a normal effect. You can bypass it, you can turn it off, whatever you wanna do. Now let's try to level match this, let's see. So let's dial this back like 9 dB. So I'm not sure if you guys hear that, but you, you instantly hear what the hardware does to the audio. It brought in depth, it brought in more space, and it gave it a pocket that I like. Um, and that's what I like about the Zulu. It's a passive tape unit. It doesn't require any power, and it's relatively cheap for what you're getting. Um, uh, I forget the guy's name. Um, I'm going to say Langston is his name. Yes, I believe it's Langston. Uh, he has a website, handsomeaudio.com. You can go pick up a Zulu or you can go on Reverb.com to pick up a Zulu as well. Um, these things do go quick. It's handmade. So you won't get mass production like you would any other units that's made in the factory. Um, these units are handmade. And it's one of the best tape emulators that I've ever come across. Um, better, definitely better than any plugin like RC20, cassette, etc. So I definitely use this to process all of my audio especially on the master, that's where I make use of it the most. So again, this is Keyflow Music, and this was how to set up external effects in Cubase Pro 10 10.5. You guys have a good one. Peace.